Hello, the fourth chipmunk. This is a quick video to explain the difference uh, between the wrist twisting action in the bow arm and using the whole arm to accomplish the same effect. I'm going to try to keep the video to like 30 seconds a minute, something like that. Uh, so when you describe it as wrist twisting, the image and movement that comes to mind is like turning a door handle like this, a doorknob, um, twisting just in the forearm from the elbow. And that's a good way to add a lot of tension, tension to your playing. The movement that you want is actually from the shoulder. And the simplest version is like a, like a scarecrow, kind of having the arms hanging down this way. Um, and if you bring this movement in towards the front of you, you'll have this rotation from the shoulder where the whole arm is participating in the movement. And if you look closely, the angle of the hand here versus here is the same direction as the twist that you want or thought you wanted from the wrist. So with the bow, if I'm going to do the wrong movement, it'll look like this. Um, and the movement that's much more ergonomically sound uh, looks like this. And I'll show you in a few bow strokes. If I'm just twisting the wrist to apply pressure with my first finger and thumb as the fulcrum, as you were describing, looks like this, feels very tight. If I'm using the whole arm, the main difference is in the elbow coming out and the rotation in here, which is supported by your muscles in the front and back. Thanks.